What is going on YouTube? The Phantom Michael here with today's episode of The Phantom 5. On today's episode, you guys, we're going to be talking about my top favorite fire type Pokemon. Now, before we get started on the last episode, it was my top five favorite electric type Pokemon. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch that. Or wait until after we finish this one. It doesn't matter as long as you've seen them because, I don't know, some of you guys might be shocked. I don't know. But, let's get started. So, um, I hadn't put a lot of thought into my top five favorite fire type Pokemon because fire type was always a, uh, a type that you would, if you didn't pick it for the starter, you never really got it till later on in the game. So, depending on which generation I played, kind of varied between how I would get a fire type in the game, and I'd always want one on my team. But my number five pick for my favorite fire type Pokemon is number five, wait for it, Torkoal. Torkoal is freaking awesome, dude. I think a fire turtle is such a great idea. And then when Sun and Moon came out and I heard Turtonator was on there, like, I just think the, the opposite of, like, what we think of a turtle, like, we think of turtle as, like, aquatic, even though he, I mean, I guess Torkoal is based off a of tortoise, I'd say, not really aquatic, but even if you just think of turtle, tortoise, you're thinking, like, you know, water. Even when you think of tortoise, it's, it's like, instantly your brain goes water. But I just think a fire turtle is freaking cool. Um, my first encounter with a Torkoal was in Gen 3. I actually didn't watch a lot of, uh, I, I know, Advanced Battle and the Battle Frontier and stuff like that was the Gen 3 anime version. But I caught a Torkoal the first time I seen it. I used it on my team. Flannery had a, a Torkoal that we battled. And it was fun, man. I had Torkoal on my, my Gen 3 playthrough along with my my mascot Pokemon Zangoose for sure. But Torkoal is definitely number 5 in my top 5 list of favorite fire type Pokemon. Okay, moving on. Number 4 is absolutely Houndoom. Houndoom is cool. It's like a dog, goat mixed man um as a kid i never had gen 2 i didn't actually play the full game of gen 2 until um heart gold soul silver came out like i told you guys in the previous game but whenever i seen houndoom in the anime and then um i seen hound hour and i just thought man that pokemon looks sick like a, a you know an evil looking puppy looks cool and that's exactly what hound door was and when it evolved into this freaking dog goat thing with horns i was like this is the coolest thing i had ever seen and running them in the games i did pl i did catch one in heart gold soul silver and i did a play i i used him through my playthrough um you know i mean he, he'd get bodied by a fighting type but i tell you what man you get them special fire fire type moves out there does some damage you know flamethrower with some dark pulses on there yeah you're good to go man but i just love houndoom's design um i haven't had experience using mega houndoom but like i said in in the heart gold soul silver running houndoom was fun uh, i think i'll do eventually because I, I really want to get all the megas and just make at least one competitive version of each one um i think that uh I'll find a good set for Mega Houndoom, and I might run them on a showdown if, in a little bit, or maybe do like a um, quick uh, battle tree battle with a Mega Houndoom. But definitely, definitely number four in this top five list, Houndoom. All right, moving on to number three, man. Number three is Pyroar. Pyroar has two different forms, the male-female form, and I, man, the male form looks so much cooler than the female form. I wish that they would have done something else for the female form with it. I don't really like the long, flat mane across the back. I think it would have been cool if it didn't have a mane, like, did not have the long-haired mane like that. I think it would have looked so much cooler if it just was, like, completely buzz that top part off, right? And just leave it, like, 
a lion, like a lioness would naturally look, you know, maybe instead of like doing like the long mane down the back, maybe like around her paws or something, do something like, like it's with that because it, the long mane just doesn't do it for me. But the male version though, this male version right here on your screen is intimidating. It is sick. The typing is interesting. The normal fire type. That's cool. Never, never has that happened. Um, but yeah, because I always like, I always liked the, um, I'm a big fan of the lions, man. I liked the Lion King as a kid, and I just thought that every time I get a pyro, I name it Simba, I name it either Simba, I name it, um, Mufasa, one of those two. Um, I think it's awesome, and I love having, like, one day I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a game, and I'm gonna do a playthrough that I'm gonna have, um, Luxray on there. And Luxray's Scar with my Mufasa Pyroar. That's going to be cool. That would be a cool playthrough. But definitely, um, as far as competitive viability goes for Pyroar, I, I think I've ran Pyroar once on Showdown in a mono fire type battle. But I got absolutely bodied, so I have nothing. This is completely talking about aesthetics as far as like um, experience with X and Y. I caught a lit Leo. I evolved it. Unfortunately, I didn't know that the male and females at the time had two different versions that evolved into the female version, and I was just like, what happened to the awesome main that I see on the King Nappy's channel? Because I did get um, XY really, really late, like two months before um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out. Um, I had gotten X and Y and beat it. So after that, I've been like at the release dates of every single Pokemon game released after X and Y. But... Um, yeah, just haven't had a lot of uh, actual in-game experience with Pyroar as the version that I really like, but just as far as aesthetically goes, he is definitely top three on this list. Moving on to number four, Intei. You know, like I said, man, I haven't had a lot of experience playing Gen 2, but when I seen Intei in the movie, and Intei almost ripped Charizard's head off, man, I was like, dude... This thing is a beast. This thing is a beast. And, man, Entei, Entei doesn't get EQ, which is weird, but he definitely gets Earth Power. Um, and Bulldoze, I think. I know, maybe, maybe he just gets Bulldoze. But, man, Entei aesthetically looks awesome. It's like another one of those, like I said, for Raikou, it's like a saber cat in a way. Um, with his fangs going on there. Or just his armor mask. His armor mask looks dope, actually. And those, like, puffy, like, cloud-looking things running across his back, dude. And he has those nice chains on all four of his legs. Entei looks dope. Entei looks dope. End of question, dude. End of question. Entei is number two on this list. Um, like I said, for the competitive viability, I know nothing about Entei. Nothing whatsoever. But Entei looks amazing any chance that i get to catch an intake catching them i wish one day when i do a randomizer i have a chance to catch an intake because he's just so ba to me but he is number two on this list because Ente just does it for me man he is freaking awesome number one on this list was an easy choice for me and it is charizard playing gen one i played gen one before gen two came out um, I picked a Charmander to start it off, playing on Pokemon Red. Um, back then, I really didn't know how to play much, so I literally just played the whole game with a few Pokemon and Charizard. Charizard was a... It, I, had, I had a Charizard right after I beat Misty. I had a Charizard. And I just swept through the game with that. I never was able to beat the Elite Four, though, because they were too good. Too good. But, uh... I played through the game with a Charizard and loved it. Um, every single chance that I get to use a Charizard in a playthrough, I take that chance because Charizard's up there, man. He's like one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, I traded one over for so I could play do a playthrough with Heart Gold Soul Silver. And um, currently, man, I'm I've been trying to do this thing where I wanted to start off by playing Pokemon Red grinding a team up, I've actually beaten the Elite Four Pokemon Red with Charizard, with a team on there that I transferred to Heart Gold Soul Silver, beat 
the Heart Gold Soul Silver gym leader or um, Elite Four with that team, transferred that team over to Diamond and Pearl, beat that game, transferred that team from Diamond and Pearl over to Black and White, beat that Elite Four, transferred the Black and White to Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, beat that, or sorry, X and Y, beat that Elite Four, and then over to Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, beat that Elite Four. And I haven't done it for Sun and Moon yet, but I want, I, I just wanted to have this team from Gen 1, you know, because I, I had an Electabuzz on there, and um, I got him to an Electivire by doing that, but um, as far as for Charizard goes, just having my starter in, having my starter go from Gen 1 all the way up to Gen 7 with me is phenomenal, and I love it, and it's awesome. He's not, doesn't have a good nature, nothing. Yeah, he's a Mega. He definitely can Mega Evolve. Mega X, dude. Charizard, Charizard Mega X looks awesome. But uh, as far as fire types go, guys, Charizard is my absolute favorite fire type Pokemon, without a doubt. Without a doubt. I have a lot of, you know, love for this Pokemon. Um, it is. I don't. I wouldn't say Charizard is my favorite Pokemon, but it is definitely up there. Um, it is. Charizard has a special place for me, man. Charizard's got a special place. Charizard is my favorite Fire type Pokemon. Enough said. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Phantom Five, leave a like, comment down below, go back and watch my other videos, go check out the Soul Link that DJ Spin and I are putting on. Um, yeah, just enjoy, guys. You know, I enjoy the rest of you guys' day. Um, leave a like, comment down below, please subscribe. With that being said, I'll see you later.